constant problem after problem after problem. So this car, no performance upgrades, but some other shop has worked on it. They've swapped out motors or something. And uh, Philip here is uh, saying there's uh, just all kinds of problems, but he has a good handle on it. He's got it figured out. So we're gonna put that uh, up on the rack over there and uh, that car's been pulled out and get that done. Uh, this is the same truck that was here last time, wasn't it? Well, yeah, we're talking to uh, the, uh, the centrics for the alignment are froze, so. Oh, oh yeah, we took it for alignment. The, uh, and while they try to adjust, here, Oh, they couldn't, they couldn't do anything? Well, it's, it's froze inside the bushing. Oh. So I have to try to figure out either have to maybe swap the bushing too you know just well, get new bushing i'm gonna try to free it up i mean they're, we're already on well, the budget but, yeah but can't we charge them for doing new bushings we're I mean, over budget from from their side yes oh shit. so we're gonna um if, if i can't get it freed up pretty easily then well they have no choice yeah yeah, I mean, that's that's what happens, you know, you find stuff and that's, it is what it is. You want big, bad trucks, you pay a big, bad price. That's right. I, uh, wait till something breaks from, from the lift. Is this normal right here? It looks kind of shiny. Oh, yeah, that's from holding it with the uh, pliers under the... Uh, but yeah, this, uh, so this truck got that, I think, four inch lift on the front. In the front. And uh, two inch in the back. That's... He wanted a six... 6'4", but he didn't want to pay the big price for the drop spindles. Yeah, and uh, so folks, uh, the if you don't lift them right, you're going to start breaking components, suspension components. So if you're lifting it, don't just, you know, just don't, don't go AWOL on it. Just think about it. Think it through what you're going to do. The more you lift it, the more it's going to cost you. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. Unless you do it right. Right. And, and even on over the long run so you can you can have uh, a lifted truck and if you didn't do it right it's just going to be breaking stuff it's you know like especially a truck or that's gonna you know like if you hook up a trailer to it yeah it's when you put load it's not going to work out uh, see that's the correct way to lift a vehicle yeah <laughs> yeah although you know those uh the tires those, work perfectly even the tires are well they're not low profile they're no yeah they're 37 but I have no tire chop and they wear evenly. Yeah. Right um, but do you have a problem hooking up a fifth wheel nope. in the back? I mean, isn't it too high for it? Uh, I hooked one up the other day. It's, it's all, it, the, most of them are adjustable at the back. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not a, not a, not an RV though. Like if you get a fifth wheel RV. Hire the axles. On the RV? Yeah, you can drop them down lower, right? I'm pretty sure it has you launches. can you, you can swap them like you can invert yeah, it but on the rv there should be separate holes like so you can drop it down the, the whole axle yeah maybe maybe yeah i didn't look underneath but yeah uh, i mean but mine's level as it is so i didn't have to mess with that